let f and g be the functions defined by f of x is equal to the cosine of x and g of x is equal to the sine of x for which values of a is the line tangent to the graph of f at x is equal to a parallel to the line tangent to the graph of g at x is equal to a. And since we're dealing with lines that are tangent to the graph, we need to find the derivatives of each of these functions since if we evaluate the derivative at specific points, it'll give us the slope of the tangent line at those points. And since we need to find tangent lines that are parallel from each of these graphs, we will need to set the derivatives of these functions equal to each other and figure out for which x values that the derivatives are equal. And before we do this, let's first look at this graphically. So here are the graphs of the two functions. The pink one is for the cosine of x, and the orange one is our g of x is equal to sine of x. And to understand this problem more visually, let's draw tangent lines on each of these graphs at these five different points here. So let's start with the sine function. So the tangent line here looks like that. At pi over 4, it looks like that. Pi over 2, the slope would be 0. At 3 pi over 4, it looks like that. And evaluated at pi, looks something like that. And now let's look at the slopes at each of these points of the tangent lines for our cosine of x. So at x equals 0, the slope of this line would be 0. Here is it at pi over 4. Here's pi over 2. 3 pi over 4 looks something like that. And at pi, we're back to 0. And since this is a rough sketch, we'll just be able to get a little idea of the correct value for where the slopes are equal. So at an x value of 0, you can see that this is positive and this is 0, so this is probably not correct. And at pi over 4, it looks like they're opposite slopes. So that one is probably not right. At pi over 2, the derivative of the sine function is 0 here, and it's not for the cosine, so that's probably not correct. At 3 pi over 4, though, it looks like they're pretty close, so that one might be the right answer. And at pi, it looks like the cosine function has a slope of 0 and the sine doesn't, so that's probably not right either. So our best guess is that d is the right answer, but let's check that using more analytic methods. So we'll take the derivative of each of these functions and set them equal to each other. And the derivative of the cosine is just minus the sine of x. And the derivative of the sine function is just the cosine. And to figure out which x values that f of x and g of x have the same slope, we'll just set these two derivatives equal to each other. So in other words, we have that the minus sine of x is equal to the cosine of x. And we can look at this more closely on the unit circle. So let's draw that really quickly. So let's first change the angle of the sine and the cosine to theta. Since we don't want to confuse this x with the x coordinate. So minus sine of theta is equal to the cosine of theta, where theta is just our angle. And we know that the sine and cosine have the same value when that angle, theta, is equal to pi over 4. This is actually at root 2 over 2 for the cosine and root 2 over 2 for the sine. Though we need to know when the cosine is equal to the opposite of the sine, or when the sine is equal to the opposite of the cosine. We can just multiply by negative 1 on each side. And since we're only dealing with a domain from 0 to pi over here for possible angles of theta, we only need to look at this angle here, 
which is at a theta value or an angle value of 3 pi over 4. Since notice we have a negative for the x value or the cosine value, so we'd have minus root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. So it's at this angle of 3 pi over 4, so theta is 3 pi over 4. If we plug this into our equation here, it would satisfy it. And if we extend our domain to be from 0 to 2 pi, then this angle here would also satisfy it because now the uh, y value is negative or the sine. So you'd have root 2 over 2 for the cosine because the x value here is positive. And you'd have minus root 2 over 2 for the sine since the y value is negative. And this is at either minus pi over 4 or if you go all the way around it's at 7 pi over 4. And the other place we can consider is this angle here which is 5 pi over 4 or minus 3 pi over 4. But here both sine and cosine give back negative values. And we know just one of them has to be negative. So in the end we figured out that our angle has to be 3 pi over 4. And in the original problem, the angle was called x. So x has to be equal to this 3 pi over 4.